So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. We are back with the Master League. We have got a few updates, a quite a big update actually regarding the gameplay. So before we dive into that, I have an announcement. I have partnered up with Aniba.com. If you guys don't know who they are, they are a very, I mean, they're a pretty large sort of gaming website, you would say. They've got over 20,000 uh, digital products. So I've partnered up with them. I've verified that it's all legit, so don't worry. I don't normally do this unless 100% confident what I'm going to give you guys is actually worth it. So during the course of over the next few months, you'll have some links in the description. Please check them out. And then there'll be a few sort of intro videos before my videos officially begin. Timestamps will be available if needed. But very quickly, let me show you guys the old Aniba.com. All right, folks, so here it is, Aniba.com. There is a whole host of things for you guys to buy from this website, all right? Over 20,000 digital products, uh, ranging from pretty much anything, as you can see, the old Lego 2K drives there on PC. So if you want any kind of gaming needs, check this website out, and uh, they've got a sale going on right now with uh, you know a whole host of different things. There is a different um, options as well in the top if you would like to change your region. So you can, you can do this wherever you may be. I'm obviously in America. Change this for Europe if you wish. You can honestly shop with confidence because they do have a 4.6 on Trustpilot. And this is pretty much what I use to make sure this was all hunky-dory because I have, I've had problems in the past. So yeah, if you have any issues, with any of your codes, the games that don't work, they've got a 24-7 live support with any of the codes, so you can go in there uh, and freely, of course, you know, fix the problems. There is also FIFA or EC, EC, EAFC 24 is on there right now, knocking on the door. It's around $63, so, you know, if you want to give that a bash, you can as well. Uh, but yeah, as I mentioned, there is a whole host of different things to go through. You've got your Xbox games, Whatever you may feel, you've got your Origin games, Steam games, Epic games. There's also Mobile Recharge. Maybe you want to top up the old T-Mobile or even the AT&T. There is tons to choose from, folks. Nintendo, PSN. Now, there will obviously be gift cards as well. Some of the gift cards might be worthwhile and some of them may not. Have a look, get a bit of a flavor for it. But for instance, here you can get you know a $10 card for $9.14, maybe not worthwhile. Uh, but there are other ones that I've seen, a $75 card for $60. So you're saving $15 there as well. So go check it out, Aniba.com. Links are in the description. This is a partnership I will be running for a couple of months, hopefully extending it further. Um, but yeah, there we go. Check it out and let's get back to the video. All right, folks, so time to get back to it. We are taking on the Bournemouth today at the Old Trafford and then Newcastle at St. James's Park. Now, the big update for today's video, folks, is this, right? Have a look at it. Press the space bar. We've now added the gameplay loader. Uh, this is a big, massive thank you, by the way, to Edos31 or Entertainment Dose, uh, who sent me this. And basically, look, I played my Everton playthrough with the Gentleman's Mod gameplay. I loved it. I thought it was one of the best mods around, especially for manual gameplay. So we, we've we kind of got it to work now. So basically, as you can see here, selected gameplay at the bottom is, uh, yeah, you just sort of plow through that and uh, you, you change them. So there's a few different ones. Storm GP, uh, UFS, Soccer Revolution, World Soccer, AIO, -A which is all in one. Uh, KGB or KGB, KGP, uh, we've got HOS, HOS, eSIM, eSIM with the goalkeepers being easy, there's no mods and then there's real time and then we've got the gentleman. So we're going to be going for the gentleman's mod. I will say this much, there's not going to be as many fouls, which is probably a good thing because we are getting a little bit mental with the free kicks. So there won't be as many as that, but the AI is probably going to be tougher. I've, I'm probably going to make this harder for myself because you guys know I like to do it because the goalies are probably going to be harder to beat as well. But we'll play it by ear. We'll see how this goes. But there it is. We have officially added that, which is nice. Uh, and then everything else is, is pretty much the same. So regarding today's match, folks, and we're also going to have to decide what we're going to do for the second season. 
because obviously I want to update all the teams and they're all out of whack because the transfers are still going. And Man United have just snapped up Regulon on loan. Madness. Uh, and Amrabat on loan with an option to buy. So there's other players that we still need to get, but I don't know. We may have to just... I'm, I'm very tempted to restart, but obviously start it officially properly with like the Pog Champion mod. We'll figure it out. It doesn't really matter. For the time being, this is what we're doing. So anyway, the lineup for today, folks, it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a tough one because of the spirit. I don't like the spirit. No one in this team has the team spirit boost. So we're going to give it to Martinez because that's going to help our stamina. Uh, we're going to bring Osman back today. Right? Instead of Rashford. We'll give Rashford a rest. Uh, and the likes of Casemiro, Ericsson are down as well. But we're going to start McTominay, Mount, Bruno, uh, Anthony, Jaden, and then Hoyland uh, with Osman. And see how it goes. I don't know how it's going to go, folks, but that's what we're going to go for. And the rest of the team is fine. Uh, Palestri, Malasia. I mean, yeah, we might be able to alternate a few players, but I think for the most part, that's probably going to be our best bet. And there's a look at Bournemouth. Beautiful. All right. Okay. That's it, folks. There is a look at the table. So we're lying in eighth place. We are still trying to get to that top four. Uh, and Bournemouth are currently lying down in 17th place they've had 15 defeats so far this season doesn't mean a whole lot but you know that is that if we quickly have a look at the kits as well i will continue to show you guys sort of the kits as we update them obviously man united are done um but the likes of uh, bournemouth there are these updated i hope so they might not be but that's what we have on the cards let's give them the white all right, I will see you guys there at Old Trafford. Let's do this. All right, folks, here we go. I know we've had a little bit of a break, so I'm hoping I'm not too rusty. Um, I have been playing a little bit on the PS5, and obviously we've got the new option file coming out as well, folks. Possibly today, it may be dropping with uh, four leagues fully updated uh, for the eFootball Universe members. We've got La Liga, the Premier League, Serie A, and the Bundesliga, I think, done. And then we're going to be working on, I think, the Skybet possibly in October. Um, so we'll continue to update it, but today... I really have to take my time. I have gone into Cider and, and cranked the time up to about 17 minutes. So it's not going to be a 15-minute game. Uh, but, you know, it's it's pretty much the same. So, yeah, let's try it out. Let's give this a bash. It probably will be a slower pace. I'm not going to lie. This gentleman's mod is generally more of a, a realistic approach to football, which is why I do enjoy it. Uh, but, yeah, let's see how Bournemouth start off this game. Uh, but the key today will be about keeping possession, keeping the ball, working it around. We are playing a lot of different tactical elements that I've decided upon. Swarm the box, hug the sideline. But right now, just continually working it forward. Here is Hoyland, of course. Chance out wide here for Anthony. He's going to try and cut back on the left foot, try some trickery and embarrasses himself. But yeah, we shouldn't get as many fouls and ridiculous. I mean, that is a foul there, but I'm talking about the arms, you know. And I was scoring a lot of free kicks. And I don't like to cheese my way through with the free kicks. But if you get them, you're hardly going to pass them up. Anyway, we are four minutes in. Bournemouth with a free kick as it's launched in. But yeah, no Casemiro today. No Ericsson. As, uh, and Scott McTominay does get a chance to show what he can do. As Smith fires in a dangerous ball. Misses everyone. And out for the goal kick. Gives him a talking to. It always cracks me up when people say, look, they got the EA Sports logo. Yes, because you do realise that the licensing in the Premier League is pretty much done by EA. They've got a lot of the old monies to spend. But yeah, foul has been given here. Tavernier, the culprit. Right, I don't know what to do here. I don't know. I mean, I feel like a shot might be a little bit ridiculous. I mean, Hoyland has got a lot of height. I don't know if we can fire this one towards him at the back stick here. Let's see what happens. It's going to be Bruno as it is fired in, but uh, it was absolutely no way near Hoyland at all. So I don't really know what Bruno Fernandes was aiming at, but Tavernier has found a, a wonderful pass here. 
Got to be careful. Luckily, luckily, the pass was forced. And uh, Bournemouth lose out on possession. As, uh, Jaden Sancho can bring this forward. But yeah, Bournemouth have not had a great season so far. They are lying down in 17th place. They're not in relegation yet, but they're certainly going to get there if they continue to play the way they are. That's nicely done by United. Mason Mount. Back to Anthony. Squares it. Bruno trying to line up some space. Maybe we should just strike this now, but trying to hold the ball up. Back to Bruno again. Sancho. Mm, is it the good ball? Oh, Hoyland. Go on, Sam. Keep poking your foot through. Yeah, we've got to be careful there. We've uh, maybe overplaying it at times, but Bournemouth are just sitting back at the moment. Sancho. That's a great challenge by Adam Smith. Bruno goes flying in, misses the challenge. Here is Traore now to Semenyo. Traore trying to scoot that out wide. Not a bad idea. Tavernier does get it down. Decent effort. Comes back on the edge of the box. Lads, let's not concede now, please. As the ball is hoist clear. And uh, it is a chance now for Hoyland to use that pace. I know I mentioned that he wasn't the quickest in the last episode. Ridiculous. He's a 92 acceleration. But yeah, he certainly has the legs. So McTominay does find uh, Martinez. But we are 18 minutes in. It's been all right so far. We'll take a bit of possession as we do, as we try and work this forward. Anthony, Hoyland, keep going. That's the ball. Drill it. Oh, he took a fortnight. I'm also hoping this gameplay mod ultimately will, um, you know, negate some of the problems you do get on Legend with the handicap. But... I don't think the last mod was that bad. It really was just a problem with the free kicks, I thought. There were too much. Too much going on. And honestly, I really enjoyed this mod when I was using it with the Everton playthrough. Ref! Well, there's the arms. Badoosh! But at least he's not giving a yellow for it. What is up with those gloves? Blimey, he's gone for the full, full red BMO gloves today. Not a whole lot in it. Just gave him a shove. I'm going to go all the way back to Anana as we're coming up to the half an hour mark. We still yet to really have a proper chance. Well, I was going to find Sancho, but no real point there. Bruno Fernandes. Actually, we aren't playing attacking, and that is one thing I do like to do on this formation, is play more adventurous. Look, Tomine, that's uh, not a bad idea. Oh, Jane and Sancho. I also like the randomness of this mod because it's like if players run into each other, honestly, the ball can go anywhere. It, it, it doesn't matter. It could rebound off his shin and go onto the left, go onto the right. Just feels a little less scripted, I think. Give it back to him. Unlucky. Now another chance for Bournemouth. As they start again with Memphis. Zanessi. Be careful here. Try all right. Space down the right-hand side. And uh, Man United. Oh, careful, Martinez. But the ref has deemed that worthy of a fan. Yeah, we're a little bit rusty today, folks. Got to try and get back. That's why I've got to get back to consistently putting out the matches. So I'm not rusty. Yeah, it's one of these games today. I'm, I'm never a huge fan of these matches because the, the def, you know the, the opposition is just defending in numbers and it's like you're constantly trying to just get through them, break them down. And at the moment, not a lot's happening. Go on, Hoyland. There you go. Good play. Read the pass. Sanessi. And well done, uh, Osserman. Get a foot in, son. Sanessi finds Lerma. We've got just under three minutes to spare, plus a little bit of the old stoppage time. I don't really know what to do in the second half. May have to alternate a few things. Maybe the arms are still happening. Honestly, it's just, it's just, it's just a Pez way, isn't it? Well, I mean, at least his arm wasn't like that. We need better spirit as well. I'm not I'm not a huge fan, obviously, having under 90 team spirit. The team is going to feel a little bit slower, less runs from the boys. So, yeah, it's, it is a little bit frustrating that the team spirit isn't there. But we should still, we should still be doing enough uh, in these types of matches. As the ref's given a foul for that. Didn't want to play on, ref. Eh, kind of knew what he was doing. Cheeky little flick with his gardening gloves. 
And it is a long way out, isn't it? Who do we go for? We'll try and mount. We'll try and mount. I said, you know, look, if there are free kicks and it is a foul, then 100%, you know, we will take them. And that's just wide. So the referee, look at the watch for one final time here. Maybe we can launch that high and see if Bruno can get in. Nearly did. Here comes back to Jaden Sancho. If we could score now, it'd be brilliant. What on earth was that? Anyway, core blimey, folks. It's nil-nil. It hasn't been the most exciting. I think. Uh, I think we just got to possess more, play a little bit more tactical. One attempt each. Blimey, embarrassing. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to mix it up second half. Bear with me. Here we go. All right, folks. Second half off and running. Uh, you know what? We've gone fluid formation. We are going to see how this works this half because I really, I don't know. Been playing around with it once again on the PS5, trying a few different alterations, formations, tactics, and I have been testing fluid formation again, trying to maybe get back to using that because you know, it does offer you different formations for different tactics. And, and when we have the ball, I ultimately want more players to get forward. So, you know, even Martinez can, can drop forward if needed as he uh, tries to find Sancho, but he obviously buggered off. And now there is a chance here for David Brooks as he tries to twist his man. Good play by him and a lovely pass as well. Will Sancho have the pace? Yes, he will. And then the ref says it's a foul for absolutely nothing. Come on, ref. He clearly got the ball here. Well, did he? So it's an early change for Bournemouth. Solanke has come on, the big man. And there he is trying to win the header. But yeah, we've got to have a better better half than we did in the first half because it really was poor. And it looks like Bournemouth are coming out the gates flying here as uh, Smith does deliver one in, cleared away. McTominay tries to get there. And Bruno Fernandes is going to swing this all the way around here to Martinez inside Mount. Martinez once more. Sancho trying to go for the roller. Osman wasn't far away there. And now a chance. Oh, that's taken a little deflection. Lovely play. Sancho. Oh, he just shoot the ball, Jaden. Didn't want to do it. And now Bournemouth bring it forward. Suddenly the game has come alive. This is what happens with these matches. A boring first half. And then you'll have some crazy match going on in the second. As uh, Unana now looks for Hoyland, trying to get there. Lerma, Brooks, Traore, careful lads. Solanke, able to turn, that's all day, all day, every day for Unana. We actually have to change Ganacho's number two, because I believe Ganacho's taken number 17 now. After Fred left, he's taken it, replaced the number 47. Mason Mount. It's good closing down by Bournemouth. Be careful, boys. He's touched outside here too. Martinez now. Stretch the old legs. Sancho. Was going to whip it. Then he goes back to the right foot. Delivers it in. Comes back to Bruno. Space on the edge of the box here. Mason Mount. Goes all the way around to Anthony. Lovely play, referee, absolutely nothing given as the ball's fired in. How's that not a penalty? Where's VAR when you need it? Absolutely baffling decision there. The referee said play on, looking for Anthony again. Goes out for a throw. Anthony, into the box. Go on, Bruno, have a go. Oh, deflection. Nearly fell into the path of Osman, but Randolph was there. As he boots this one out wide to find uh, Mr. Adam Smith. Inside to Lerma. Not the best pass from him. I mean, look, Bournemouth have pretty much played like a team that's 17th. I mean, we've played like we're 17th, to be honest. But, you know, this is what I mean. They're not playing like Barcelona, which you don't really want. It's a good play, this lads. McTominay, square it. Beautiful. Bruno. Osman, come to the ball. Didn't want to do it. Hoyland, just stop running, you big monkey monkey. Didn't have to do it, did he? Here is Bruno Fernandes. Sancho trying to keep possession here. Martinez again. McTominay. Let's get it out wide here. Anthony trying to play that one-two. Does find him. 
Cut it back. It's just no one there. Back to Bruno. Ref plays the advantage. All over them at the moment here, Manchester United. They are pressing, pressing, pressing. Martinez. Even he's going to go for a run. Watch Martinez here. He's still going. Has he got the ability to whip in a decent ball? It's not bad. It's towards Hoyland. Back to Mount. Come on, get there first. Bruno tries to fake it. Ref plays on. This is ridiculous, lads. Make something out of this. McTominay. Bruno says he wants it. About to chip it back towards him here. Anthony's out wide. Flicks it off. Chance for Mount. All that possession and nothing to, nothing to s celebrate for. Unbelievable. But yeah, we're going to have to make some changes. I, I, I don't know what's going on with Osserman. I just don't think the guy offers us anything at the moment. It's a worry. I'll tell you what, it's also a worry. This right here. Good play from Varane. Although the ref said it was a foul. Don't know why. I thought there'd be less fouls in this. Mod! Brilliant save from Onana. God blame it. Yeah, the second half definitely a lot more entertaining than the first. Another foul's being given. Apparently there's a lot of fouls on this mod. I lied. <laughs> All right, let's make some changes here. We'll bring on Rashford uh, and just go for it. I mean, yeah, he did. He did foul him. Can't say he didn't. So we'll bring on Rashford and Mr. Garnacho. Well, he's 49, like I said. We'll change his number after this match. Now he's got number 17 as Bournemouth have made a change as well. There's a, a chance here for Bournemouth now. It's not what you want to give away, is it? Right on the edge of the box, even though it's not. Well, a foul's a foul. That's a foul. Ridiculous. And a chance for Cook once again. And yes, I will control goalies uh, when needed. Because why not? I am the goalie. I will control the goalie. But yeah, we've got, what, 15 minutes left here in this match. And we haven't had enough chances. That's the biggest problem. In no way near enough chances in this game. McTominay. He hasn't had a bad game. That's another late one there. Anthony. Inside. McTominay. Bruno. This is where I kind of want to try and get the ball into the lad's feet, but we're going to need a forward to, to commit here and at least show us something. Here's Toribo. Give it into Hoyland. There you go. Hold him up. Ref, is it a foul? It is. Oh, apparently, there is a lot of fouls in this mod. I, I, but I think the good thing is they are fouls that are fouls. You know, they're not, they're not silly fouls. If you're going to be a twat and you're going to foul like this, then, you know, it's a foul even though they always say it isn't. Well, I'm not, I'm not really in a position here to have a shot and waste a chance. So we're going to take the short one and see what happens here as McTominay looks to find Ganaccio. No, we're going the other way. Go on, Ganaccio. Do some magic. What have you got? Starts again. McTominay. Bruno. Mount, go. Bruno, carry on. There's the flick. Ooh, comes back to Scotty. And this is the problem now, isn't it? One of those games where they're just going to be sitting back, bunkering in for the final 10 minutes. Luckily here, Nana's coming right out. Not the best goalkeeping, but he did enough. Well done, Martinez. Mason Mount. Hoyland. Rashford. Back to Hoyland. Flicks it on. Anthony's got absolutely nothing left in the tank. How's the ball? Rashford's miles offside, or maybe he isn't. As Brooks smashes it clear. Yeah, we've got to make a change here. Bring off uh, Anthony, bring on someone else. I mean, look, we've had a lot of possession. But I do think the spirit today has not helped us out. Would love to have been into the 90s, and you'd just have that, you'd have that little bit of, you know, extra push. Anthony. I'm liking Hoyland, though. He's... You know, look, he's got the ability to apparently not hold anyone off. I lied, but there's a lot of lying going on today. But no, I do like Hoyland. I think he's got massive potential. It's a great play from Bournemouth there uh, as they've opened up some space here for David Brooks. We're just going to cover the middle, man. That ball is going to miss everyone. And uh, yeah, let's make a change with Anthony. Uh, we'll bring on Amid Diallo for the remainder of the match. Uh, so we've only got four minutes left. 
This hasn't gone the way we wanted, but it kind of was to be... Oh, that's a nice ball, because they've missed it. It's kind of been to be expected. Obviously, using a new mod. Oh, here we go. Hang on. Oh, Rashford, the final ball again, although that's loose. Hoyland. Mason. Ugh, the final, final pass, the final touch. Letting us down there. As Vina launches one up the line. Now, the issue we have here is Todibo looking knackered. The ball squared inside. No, Brooks. Deflection. Varane gets it out. McTominay. We've got one final flourish. Amit Diallo. Hoyland. Run. Doesn't want to run. Give it back to him. Nicely done. Now, who's in the box? Amit Diallo. And that will be a foul. All right. This is the final chance. Final chance of the game. I will say the second half, yeah, been much better. Maybe the fluid formations helped out. We will, I think we will stick with it. Uh, but right here, yeah, he just got absolutely annihilated by Cook. Right, folks. Well, this is a chance, and I really do not know what I want to do here. I don't know if we want to go far post, if we want to try and just roll this into Rashford. I may even just try the cheekiest... Most ridiculous goal ever. Here we go. Ball's laid in. Go on. Rashford! Oh! I thought it was top bins. Oh, I, I seriously thought he'd smash that top corner. How far away is this? I don't know. I think it hit the side netting. Oh, it's a big chance. Hoyland's finished. But it looks like it's going to finish nil-nil, which is pathetic. But it's kind of the way the season's going right now. Um, and we just... Keep doing what we're doing and hopefully get a little bit more luck going forward. But yeah, disappointment, lads. The Solanke, although don't say anything yet, as the referee does blow, though, for full time. Manchester United nil, Bournemouth nil. Dropping points at home against the team you're playing at the 17th. No, that's not exactly what you want, folks. But I wasn't happy with the spirit and a lot of players weren't up for today. I'm hopefully I'm hoping they are for the Newcastle game. But look at that. Four attempts to six. Not good enough. We had the possession. We didn't have the chances. Man of the match was actually Scott McTominay. He didn't play bad. He was all right. So the other results, Everton getting stuffed by the Chelsea. Uh, Fulham drew against Aston Villa. Brentford nil, Crystal Palace two, Sheffield United nil, West Ham three, Nottingham Forest nil, Luton nil, Brighton four, Newcastle two, Arsenal losing to the Liverpool by two goals to nil, Burnley beat Wolves and Tottenham lost to Manchester City. So we actually had some results going our way, but we didn't have the result of our result going in our way. So yeah, Liverpool top, Tottenham second, Arsenal third, Chelsea move up to fourth place. Man City are actually catching us up now. They're up to 10th uh, and it's Luton, Sheffield United and Nottingham Forest. Your bottom three. Someone did say, uh, why do I say the Chelsea and the Liverpool? I don't know. I just, I have little quirks and that's kind of what I do. Look at this, match day. That's a cool little background, isn't it? Uh, anyway, Derby rematch, chapter one, as the gaffer says... The derby against Liverpool is coming up. Yes, uh, we may be ahead of them at the moment, but this is no time to get complacent. We need to push on and widen the gap. Did he just say we may be ahead of them at the moment? Yes, I agree. Putting together a little tidy winning streak will help with the morale and the players because we are the team. But yeah, why did he just say... Um, we're ahead of them at the table at the moment. You do realise Liverpool are first, mate. We are, in fact, 18 points behind them. So I don't know what glue he's been sniffing. Um, but all right, let's dive into it. We are now going to pick a lineup. Looks like a few players are up for it, but not, not the players I want. I want Hoyland. I want Rashford up for it. I want the wingers. Anyway, all right, I'll pick a lineup. We will go fluid formation again uh, and return. All right, folks, so the good news is we are over a 90 on the spirit here, so it isn't terrible. Uh, we have a few players buzzing for this one. So this is kind of how the fluid formation is going to work, right? This is at kickoff, which is fine. In possession, this is when we really get the players forward. Now, I might change this slightly um, because Mason Mount, I'm going to play on the left-hand side, but... 
I think that should be fine. And when we're out of possession, you know, we drop a little bit deeper uh, and try and pick it up. But yeah, I think we'll roll with that. I just want to try and get as many players forward. And I thought we had a good amount getting forward against Bournemouth. We just... The spirit was crap, let's be honest. And we didn't have any players up there that could score. So we're dropping Osman again. I don't know what's going on with him. Probably going to sell him, to be honest. He's not doing it. Uh, and Rashford and uh, Hoyland will go up top. And yeah, Rashford, we're going to stick as a goal poacher. And I'm going to keep him as that because he's doing the business. Uh, there's a look at Newcastle. 4-3-3. Not a joke of a team anymore, are they? They are They are a team to look out for, Tottenham. They have Tottenham. Newcastle, not even close to Tottenham. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're a team that definitely now you, you take take note of them uh, and they're not going to be an easy team to beat. So they are lying in seventh. Wow, this is a big game. It's a six-pointer, folks. If we win today, we won't go ahead of them probably because of goal difference. But actually, if we win 2-0, we might. But it's not going to be easy. So anyway, without further ado, let's dive into this. There's a look at the kits for you as always. So there's Newcastle's home. There's Newcastle's away. Uh, I've only got the home and away for now. We're just going to use our home kit. Lovely jubilee. Let's see how we do against the new cap. So welcome one and all to St. James's Park as the Magpies take on Manchester United. It's a big game, folks. It's 7th versus 8th. Not really where Man United wanted to be in the table, but Ten Hag is still trying his best to get the best from his players. And they're not scoring enough goals. But yeah, we really have to decide what we're going to do for the next season regarding this playthrough. Because like I want all the updated transfers, but I can't, you know, go in there and fix them. So we'd have to start like a brand new playthrough. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's, it's it's a ways away yet, so there's no need to worry about it. But we are underway here. Newcastle United attacking from your left to right. Man United right to left. In their traditional red strip. And uh, yeah, this, this match you would expect to be a lot different to that match that we saw with Bournemouth. More attacking flair, more chances... And hopefully, not as many fouls. There is a lot of fouls, isn't there? That's one of those, isn't he? He's kind of kicked his foot. Fouls are so difficult to get right, especially with a collision system, because if the collisions are all over the place, then generally the game's going to be all over the place. But I can, I can definitely feel the lads are a little bit more pep in the step. Probably down to the fact that we are playing now with a... Come on, Mason. Pull your finger out. Uh, we, why is there a sky bet? A sky bet board there. That probably needs to be updated. Uh, but we are playing with an updated team spirit, so we should feel a bit better. But yeah, we've got to keep Newcastle under the cosh here. His Almiron gets it out wide. Lovely pass here to Trippier. And he's going to uh, fire that one in. He's Zach! He is good in the air. He is a threat. But Kim is on full B mode today. So hopefully he can contain... Mr. Izek, who's been a really good signing for him. I mean, I do remember him from my Real Sociedad days. If you guys remember that playthrough, it didn't last very long. I only did one season, but that was kind of when I was getting a little bit frustrated with Pez 21 because I've been playing it so much. But yeah, he wasn't bad. It was uh, Bruno. It's a pathetic pass. Come on, lads. We need to wake up here. Willock, St. Maximum. Apparently a foul. Well, it's going to take the short one. St. Maximum again. Does feed it through the mixer. Trippier with some space. Is X there again. And Man United are living on the edge. Although they got a chance here with Rashford now. A good play by uh, Bruno Gumeres. Or Gumeres. Oh, careful, lads. So now that does find uh, Anthony. Right, let's, let's calm ourselves down. I don't know, maybe it's a bit harsh that Scott McTominay's not playing because he did have a good game in the last game, but the facts are, if Casemiro's match fit, I'm going to put him in the lineup. Bruno trying to find uh, Hoyland there. Martinez inside. Casemiro. Some room out here, Anthony. Ericsson. 
Float that one high, looking for Rashford. Comes back to Casemiro, big deflection, Hoyland lurking, trying to do something. It's, uh, Sven Botman now. Let's find uh, Matt Ritchie. Rumble forward, Almiron does flick it inside. Back to Almiron, it's a good play. I seriously thought there wasn't going to be any fouls in this mod, but there's more fouls than the other one. It's insane, you've got to be careful, you can't just dive in. Because you're going to be giving fouls left, right and centre. Right, I'll let that one run out of play. Well, I think we're going to go attacking now. Uh, I'm not playing attacking at the moment. And also, I think we're going to take off, hug the sideline for them for the moment. Just need to get a bit of possession. Take our time. Bruno. I know, I know this is the problem. Look at Rashford and Hoyland. They're constantly making runs. Obviously, we're not... Yay, uh, Varane. Luckily, you want it back, mate. Here comes Kim now. There's no one through the middle. I don't know where Bruno's gone. We might have to make a few additions and alterations here because Izek is through and he's pulled it wide. Yeah, we're looking a little bit all over the shop. Far too much space through the middle. Luckily, I think Casemiro here just put him off. Just pulled his shirt at the last second, so get out of it. So Ten Hag made uh, a few alterations. Yes, we're going to switch it up a little bit. Tactically, we're getting overrun. Here we go, this is it. Anthony, that's the ball. Oh, Rashford can't win anything in the air. It never falls to Hoyland. It's always Rashford. And now a chance for Newcastle here with Trippier. Starts again with Sells. Long searching ball to find set maximum. On oh, Casemiro. Back to Trippier. Get on him. Willock. Nice little turn there. And that's great play from Martinez. Brilliant defending. Now... Mason Mount will bring this forward. He's got Rashford running through the middle. Well, Hoyland was an option, but instead he's found Anthony. And Anthony's run straight past it. I bloody well super cancel myself. What a Moby. Well done, Bruno Fernandes. Now, Man United starting to get the ball a little bit more, but Newcastle still pressing so well. Izek. Almiron, and that's going to be comfortable for Nana. At least the AI shooting as well. You know, you like to see him have a shot. I'll tell you what, though. We'd like to have a shot ourselves, because at the moment, we can't break through this Newcastle back line. Martinez. Bruno. Casemiro. Varane, start again. But this is where we need... Uh, just needs some movement through the middle. Nothing happening here. Someone show for it. Although Rashford now is showing for it. And he's not going to get there. Because the pass from Martinez was a poor one. Oh, well, I think we're going to have to go back to... Are we playing false nine? I think we were playing false nine. And why is the forward not dropping in the hole? Well done, Varane. Did enough to put him off. We're just going to hit this one. We're just going to hit this one. And hope and hope, and hope that Rashford can get there. He nearly did actually get in behind. Casemiro. Who's getting there? Hoyland. Anthony. This time Rashford. Oh my days. The defender. Oh, he got his left foot in the way. Just as Rashford's about to celebrate. Look at that. You lucky, lucky, lucky boy. And you know what? We're going to try it. Kim's got the blue form, which means he might win the header. He does win the header! That will do! Straight off the training ground, and it's Varane. What a combo that is. That is the Varane-Kim combo, or the Kim-Varane. Lovely stuff there. I knew Kim was going to win that header all day with the form he's on, and then Varane towers, towers ahead. Oh, is that Jolington at the back post? Yeah, lovely lads. That's what I like to see. Yes, we work on that in training, straight from the Shepish. Yes. But we do have, what, 10 minutes to spare. This is a humongous game. I mean, the Bournemouth one was a big disappointment, but these are the matches that you do have to win. And you're three points behind... 
Newcastle. If we do win 2-0 today, we, we may go 7th. Well, let's not get carried away here. 10 minutes to spare. Varane. Anthony. That's all right. We'll keep the ball at the moment. Let Newcastle do the work. Oh, careful. There's Kim. Way out wide there to Mason Mount. Lovely ball. Great play from Mason. And we will take that foul ref. Always asked to come over. Have a word with you. And he says, do it again. Yeah? And that yellow card's coming out, son. But we'll let you off this one time. Oh, so do we have a go or do we not? And I do think... I do like to have a go with these angles, generally because if you can get the, the bend and the whip right, you might be able to outdo the keeper. Oh, I tell you what. Pope nearly got it all wrong. What kind of a replay is that? Quality workers since 1959. Brilliant. Right, let's try this again. I want to see if this works, because if this does continually work, then it could be... Uh, uh, a bit of a cheat fest. Oh, doesn't work that work that time. Oh, hang on. It does come back. Here we go. It's going to be Casemiro. As it comes back on the, uh, the left-hand side here to Mason Mount. Bruno flicks it. Eriksen. Oh, he tried the double touch, but Willock did exceptionally well himself. Starts again with Richie as Newcastle continue to press. United just holding that line. One minute of stoppage time. And that's what I'm trying my best to do. I'm trying to do a better job of just defending and holding the shape as opposed to just constantly diving in. Because we know that doesn't work. Jolington. Oh, no. Don't let him do it. Get it out. Well done, boys. Did just enough. When a half time, Man United have the ever so slender lead thanks to a Kim Varan combination from the corner. And there it is. Four attempts to five. Relatively content. I think the worrying thing is we're playing better without Osman. That's not good. But anyway, second half. Here we go. So another 45 for you guys to feast your eyes on. Ten Hag said, yes, we're pretty happy with the first half. We keep the same team. The same formation. And we try to shut up shop. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens this half. Oh, uh, uh, Martinez, come on. You're trying to get subbed off right off the bat. What a plonker. Absolutely ridiculous. And here is Willock now. Do not concede a goal by doing that, lads, please. Unfortunately, Nana was there for the, the comfortable save. Yeah, lads, you can't be giving the ball away there. Ridiculous. So Casemiro does find Martinez. He's still playing with himself. Let's just play on. Newcastle will be working hard to win it back. They know they need a goal here. There is Hoyland. Bit of a trickery from him. Bruno. Casemiro says to Varane. There you go. There's some space for you. Back to Casemiro. Back inside. Bruno wanted to do some trickery there, but took far too long. And here comes Newcastle now. As some players start flooding forward. Almiron. Looking for that big switch. It's a lovely pass here to St. Maximum. Turns uh, Martinez inside out. Well, fair enough. I mean, I swear there was one match. We should have had a penalty. I don't know if it was this match or the last match. I think it was the last match, was it? So I'm not really that fast. That's a good challenge there for Bruno. Getting a footy. Almiron. Jolington. Just to swing it all the way around here to Trippier. I mean, I don't know how good Mount is down the flank. I'm really just playing him because I know he'd run around a lot. Good play from Newcastle. And then... <coughs> oh, blimey. Willock skies that one. There's a good header, this, actually, from his act. Just, just nodded it down for him. But the finish was up there. Lovely. It's going to be Trippier to launch it high Kim should win that all day because he's on the keep mentioning the full bleed the full blue beam mode today which always helps the lads feeling that much juicier Botman finds Richie look inside Jolington let's sort of flick up the line to Amaro he finds Isaac watch the run through the middle please lovely turn there with the pirouette Trippier once more 
Mal trying to stay with him. It's Willock. Ooh, pokes that one through. And there is Kim. Wonderful play. Trying to find Anthony, but it wasn't the best pass. Richie. Almond on once more. Oh, Varane got there first. Kim gets it out. No, don't let him do it. And Almiron has spooned it wide. Lads, living on a prayer. I won't sing the song for you, but yeah, we had numerous chances to get that out. Bruno's control was dreadful, and that is that cloche. Long ball forward. Hoyland. Go on, Hoyland. Good play. Go on, son. Using what he can. Hoyland on the right foot. Unlucky there, but you see the power and pace of him? Even Osserman doesn't feel like that, and it's it's weird. I don't know what's happened to Osserman. Start the season, the guy was banging in the goals. Just lost the plot. Here we go. And it's going to be Bruno Fernandes testing the arms of Nick Pope. Might as well. As Pope is going to just give that one a good hiding as he looks for Izek up against Kim. They've, them two have had a good battle today. Izek once more. That's a good pass, you know. Sent maximum. Wants to get it on the right foot. Left foot. Trippier does fire one in. It's a good looking ball. Wedge of the box. Once again, swarm the box. We've got so many players in there just trying to stop anyone from winning some headers. Well done, Kim. Because this is Newcastle's game plan right now. Get the ball out wide. Whip those balls in. Willock. Set maximum. So again, hold him up. Don't let him shoot. Almiron. Gimarish. Richie fires it high. Kim's there again. The guy's like a giraffe today. Back to Trippier. This is a long, long, long half, folks. Izek can't win it. It comes back to Willock once more. And that's not what we wanted to give away as the referee books Bruno Fernandes. He says, me? Yes, Bruno. You. And it was a terrible challenge. And it was a foul. Right, so we'll make changes. We will bring on Batman. All right, we'll bring him on. See what he can do off the bench. Uh, but right now, we have to worry about this free kick, which I'm going to take control of the goalie. I mean, it's a it's a very I say, a ridiculous angle, to be honest. The Trippier is even going to score from there. Uh, but we're not conceding from a free kick today. No chance. But we have now put Marcus Rashford on the left-hand side as uh, Osman will play through the middle. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what Osman can do. Here he is. Lovely little flick. That's what we wanted. Now, Hoyland, he's got the height. But instead, we try and find Sancho. Maybe I should have tried to head that. Big deflection. Maximum gets it away. Hoyland's there. Well, what number is Hoyland, then? Because I've given him 17. That's a good point, actually. I'm going to have to see what number Hoyland's got. Because you can't have 17 for Ganacho and Hoyland. That doesn't work. What's the matter with that, ref? Ref said play on. And Varane is going to loop it in there. Hoyland tries to win the flick. Richie gets it down. Back to Botman. As uh, Lascelles goes the other way now to Trippier. 15 minutes to play here at St. James's Park. Man United lead narrowly. Thanks to that header from Raphael Varane in the first half. If they can score one more United. They may. They may pushing to seventh but at the moment Newcastle does have a slightly better goal difference of plus one compared to United Bruno lovely pass back to Rashford who's going to have a go raffle deflection I thought he fouled in there for a minute and it is a chance for the corner now we're going to go for something completely different absolutely fire near post oh Hoyland What's that all about? He scored a goal and he fouled him. Ah, ha, ha. Well, I can't believe that. I mean, it was a foul. Yeah, he technically went through his leg. But I was like, the one time Hoyland scores a fantastic volley. And then the referee blew for a foul anyway. Oh, no, that's not the pass I wanted. That was not the pass I wanted. Here comes Willock. Watch the right flank. Almiron. Oh, no. Bruno gets it away. The flourish continues from Newcastle here. Trippier. Hold him up. 
inside Willock St. Maximum <sighs> Jolington it's just ridiculous isn't it this is where it all gets a little bit mental because this is what they will do they'll work it they'll work it they'll try and find some space and the deflections over the bar this is all also why I like the mod because it's not just you know back and forth back and forth it's a bit of possession working it around trying to keep the shape of the team like you do in a football match you know we're not playing FIFA here folks anyway a chance for the corner with just under 10 minutes to spare Newcastle deliver this one high there's the header and St Maximum's over the bar we've said that a few times today but yeah I think uh, Hoyland there just did enough put him off because yeah Hoyland he's a big lad Right, well, Bruno's looking a bit tired, so... And he's on a yellow, so can't risk him getting sent off. So, Ganacho comes on. Rashford is going to switch flanks, and... That's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, Jaden Sancho is going to go through to the uh, attacking role position. As uh, Osman's found some space in behind here. Here is the number nine. And he's just run straight into uh, Lascelles, but at least he's lost the ball again. I mean, come on, Osman, you really are... You're taking the mick now, to be honest, with these performances. I don't know what's happened to him. He started drinking again. Anyway, five minutes to spare. Here is Almiron. Ball up the line's a good one to find Matt Ritchie here. I think we're going to go into defensive mode, but that ball in was a poor one. And it is going to roll out for the throw. And the change for Newcastle as Matt Target comes on for Matt Ritchie. Matt's off, Matt's on. Yeah, I think we're going to go uh, a little bit more defensive. Honestly, a 1-0 today, couldn't care less. It will do. Still time to spare, though. Varane, not a good pass. Rashford wasn't even there. This down we're on. All done there, Varane, though. Fair enough for at least working hard to win it back. Willock swings it round the other way now Martinez is going to have to come across no no great clearance I'll tell you what Kim today knock on wood has been brilliant it's Martinez it's a wonderful pass because Ganacho's not slow you know and he's going to beat him to the ball and then Lascelles did well and then Ganacho's still going and then Lascelles gets ahead of him and manages to clear the ball and then it comes off Martinez midriff he's lost possession and uh, the ref gives a foul Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, folks. So yeah, it hasn't been, you know, goal fests. Look, I, I don't know because it's like the, this mod is probably going to make scoring a little bit tougher because the goalies are, are not on easier mode. I, I did weaken the goalies in the last mod, but I mean, they weren't terrible. But I still think we're more than capable to score goals now on Legend. I've, you know, I score goals on PS5, so we can still do it. But the thing we've got to worry about right now is not conceding late here. So the referee has given a foul. We're in the 92nd minute. This is the final attempt for Newcastle as Hoyland went annihilation mode right there and then. Oh, but it's going to be Bruno Gamerich to whip this one in. It's Man United defending numbers, but it's cleared away. The referee has a look at the watch. Lascelles. St. Maximum. Trippier. Don't want to let him whip the ball in. Oh, it's a great header again. Who's that? Varane or Kim, one or the other. Referee, blow the watch, the whistle, everything. And he finally does. Oh, blimey, folks. We hold on for a very narrow, scrappy 1-0 away win. But it is a big win, a big result. And, uh, yeah, the corner combo did work out. There it is. 11 attempts to 9. So this is the type of match that's much better. You know, that I'm fine with. They did have a lot of possession. You would expect that away from home. But for Rafael Varane, look, we got a 7.7. .7, so the ratings are slightly different. <laughs> and there we have it. Anyone else play well? Bruno Fernandes, 6.5, 6.7 for Kim. Yeah, I thought Kim had a great game. Um, yeah, he did really well. So the other results, uh, Bournemouth lost to Everton. Chelsea drew against Fulham. That's a good result for us. Villa beat Brentford. Crystal Palace beating Sheffield United. West Ham 2, Luton 2. Good result for Luton there, although they're pretty much relegated. Uh, Liverpool did beat Brighton. Wolves beating Arsenal. Man City beat Burnley 
uh, and Tottenham did smash the forest. So we do remain eighth. However, we are now on the same point as Newcastle. Yeah, that goal difference is just slightly off. Uh, we did need another goal. And what are we now? Five points behind fourth place. And we're still miles behind first. But yeah, we're sort of tin tinkering around mid-table, aren't we? And bottom of the table is still unchanged with your bottom three. So, folks, we are going to return in the next episode to take on the Genk in the Europa League. The next round of the knockout stage. I think it's round of 16, possibly. Uh, but there it is, the Derby rematch, Chapter 2. As he says, look, Liverpool won their pre-match derby, okay? We need to do the same. That's it. That's all you've got. And Ten Hag will say, yes, of course. Winning is what we do. God, these cutscenes. I mean, I like the cutscenes, but the, the dialogue looks like it was done by someone in preschool. Yeah, Konami, let's work on that. Uh, but yeah, we will return for some big games. We have got the round of 16 against Genk, and then we're taking on Liverpool in Derby Day, uh, which is a big game, but it's more of a big game for Liverpool, seeing as they're top and we're miles off the pace. But we still got we still got to do the business, folks. Anyway, let me know your thoughts as always regarding everything. What do you guys make of the mod? As I said, I like look. I like to keep my playthroughs realistic. Okay, you're not going to get matches that are six nil, five four tons of chances um that's just not my style i like the realism that's why i can't play fifa because it isn't realistic but anyway let's dive back into it in the next episode hope you guys did enjoy it check out aniba.com if you want some games decent price check it out until next time take care